News Channel 5's Alana Quillen, live in Belvedere Road in West Palm Beach to explain. Alana? Well, Michael, the lights here at Military Trail were out for days and they finally came back on this afternoon. That's good because just a couple hours ago there was a pretty bad accident out here. You can still see the debris in the road because drivers are not treating those traffic lights like they would a stop sign. After Hurricane Irma, major intersections have turned into a free for all. Go to any traffic light without power and you'll see cars cornering each other. At Okeechobee Boulevard, a car almost hit our photographer as he used the crosswalk. Oh boy, it's a lot. It's a lot of mayhem, a lot of impatience. Police worked this accident on Belvedere Road, another case of people not treating these intersections as a four way stop. There's so many intersections throughout the county that, that, are, that are in this condition. And we just urge everyone to please just try just slow down just a little bit. Drivers shared their stories of close calls. I've had a passenger in my car today and almost wiped us out in the middle of the street. It's a hazard. People are in a rush to go nowhere. It's not like every gas station's open. It's not like every job is open. There is no rush. Uh, one lady didn't actually didn't stop at all going through the traffic light. And she, she probably was so used to just that light being green. She wasn't paying attention. For now, some drivers are avoiding the roads until the coast is clear. People are rude. I mean, under the circumstances we are right now, I think we should be able to take care of each other, especially on the road. Now again, you have to treat those intersections with traffic lights out like you would a four way stop. Be sure to look both ways and be courteous to drivers. We have a full list of problem intersections posted on our website, WPTV.com. Reporting live in West Palm Beach, Alana Quillen, WPTV News Channel 5.